Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would give you five tips on how to entertain your kids on long car rides. We recently went on a trip and it was six and a half hours each way. So like six and a half hours there, six and a half hours back. And we had to entertain two children and yeah, so these are what our lifesavers were. For, so for the first thing I recommend is getting one of these. A portable DVD player. Now we have ones that strap on the back of our car seats now. But if you can't like afford it or whatever, you know, I'll leave both options down in the link below. But yeah, one of these things is like a lifesaver. The second thing goes hand in hand with that and that is an uh, option of different movies for the kids. Because they get bored really easily and like each movie lasts about there and hour and a bit. So you know, there's three hours gone there if you have three different movies. And you know, they pretty much watch one and then they'll watch it again and then they'll put another one on so you know it really really helps with the time uh the second or well, the third thing is ipad now i was not really keen on getting tj an ipad at this age but this really really helps with the sanity in the car when you're driving long distances because you can just load it full of games and movies and we put we actually put ice age on here let's see so we actually put ice age on there for him because he's obsessed with Ice Age and that actually really, really helped our trip quite immensely because, you know, it keeps them entertained for quite a period of time. And there's lots of, like, different apps and different games that you can download for different ages. So, um, the fourth thing is books. Get some interactive books, like this one makes noises and stuff so they can read. You know, Isaac had a few books and... So they can just sit there and interact with them and make all different sounds and, you know, keep some entertainment for longer just so that, you know, your sanity is safe. Um, the next thing, well, there's actually six tips here, but whatever, is food. So I don't know what it is with kids and road trips, but they always, always, always get hungry. So I, used, I packed a lot of food. I packed these little fruit crays. Um, like these little munchy biscuits I packed some muesli bars and some sultanas you know things that they can eat in the back seat without you having to reach over and open every single little thing so yeah I really suggest the extra thing is just to pack some good quality car toys now TJ is obsessed with scrap so we packed him scrap and he's also obsessed with Woody at the moment and he actually now that my hat's back, wait just a second. Something's missing. <gasps> my hat! Yeah, so he actually talks when you take his hat off and when you put it back on. We actually scored this from Big W uh, for $30 over Christmas. And yeah, he has not left TJ's side since. Like, I've only recently just took him to make this video. But yeah, I suggest like some good car toys, you know, like little Hot Wheels or little Teddies or like little interactive dolls. You know, just so they can sit there and hold them and play with them, because that's all they, that's all they really need. And now he's not showing up. Are you done now? Okay. So yeah, <laughs> anything that you can think to put in the car that they can just hold on to and you know entertain themselves with on the long drive. Now I'm not gonna lie, like the trip was very painful, but you know with, when you stop and have a break, breaks are very, very, very important. If you find a park. And they're getting a bit restless after about two hours. Usually about every two hours you have to stop with kids because they get so, so restless. So we, about halfway, about three hours into our trip, we stopped and then let them play at the park for about an hour, had some lunch, and then we continued on with our trip. And I cannot stress how important stopping at a playground is for kids like that because it runs out their en energy basically and then they sleep the rest of the way. So it's all good. Um, yeah, so that's everything for my tips video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!